Now another blast from the past, courtesy of our socialist friends. If you've ever wanted to know why socialism fails everywhere it's been tried, then take a look at this clown show. Keep the chatter to a minimum. It's affecting my ability to focus. Thank you. Thank you, comrade. Okay, is there a speaker against name, Point chapter, of pronoun? Privilege. Point of personal privilege. Yes. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. Comrade had when they spoke about the trauma, I would like to ask people to please use trigger warnings. Thank you. Um, I would ask the same. Hi, my name is Erica. I use they, them pronouns. I'm from Lincoln, Nebraska. Go ahead. Person, um, Cassandra, she, her from Metro DC. Um, people are really crowding the aisles. Okay. Uh, it'd be really nice if we could get, if we could limit it to like six people for and six people against mm -hmm. um, actually standing up so that we can actually see what's going on in the room. Thank you, comrade. Thank you, Madam Chair. My name is Yessi. Uh, my pronouns are they, them, and I'm part of uh, the San Diego chapter. Comrade? Point of privilege. Um, I also um, ask that um, the safety considerations that were mentioned earlier by the comrade of having the aisles filled with people be respected. Point of privilege. Well, my pronouns are Persian and princess, or should I identify as a Persian cat? It's all the rage. Son does identify as a cat, but I cannot take him to a vet because I tried that and the veterinarian told me that because he has human anatomy that he does not know how to to work on him or diagnose him with anything um, and he legally cannot. So and while I do think that is a form of discrimination because, you know, my son, if he says he's a cat, he is a cat um, and he needs to be treated like that, like one, you know, but um I'm not going to press charges because I know that he could lose his license if I if he did work on my son. So um, I'm not going to I'm not going to try to sue him or anything. So don't worry. But this is something that I want to raise awareness on because I do think that people that identify as an animal should be able to go to the vet. You know that's the that's the medical attention that they're wanting. Um, and so I really do appreciate you asking this question. I think it's an important topic that we discuss because if if we don't we're never going to make progress and these people that identify as cats are going to have to continue going to human doctors it's becoming impossible to figure out what's real and what's parody i don't know i don't know but i've got to tell you i'm starting to feel like this guy from now on, I identify as a paper straw because nobody wants me. I'm horrible at my job and I can't function for longer than five minutes without completely breaking down. Thank you. 